हाँ आप अपनी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं दिस वीक वॉज सेट टू सी टू कंट्रीज लैंड ऑन द लूनर सर्फिस रशिया एंड इंडिया आफ्टर रिशियज लूनर ट्वेंटी फाइव एस डेवस्टेटिंग एंड इन अ क्रैश ऑल आईज वर नाउ ऑन इंडिया एज इट इंच क्लोसर टू आवर नेचुरल सेटेलाइट and it is a testament to india's undeniable place in the space race as a strong contender now that chandrayaan 3 has achieved the soft landing on the moon congratulations india ji ha aap apne screen pe dekh sakte hain ki hum setting the stage for the whole world to see on july 14th the indian spacecraft embarked resolutely towards the distant side of the moon marking a subsequent mission post a failed endeavor nearly 4 years earlier when india tried to land a rover on the lunar surface the latest mission named chandrayaan 3 gets its name from the sanskrit language signifying moon craft it ignited its journey from a launch pad nestled in shriharikota an island nestled in southern india as a testament to india's burgeoning space prowess the spacecraft housing a lander and a rover embarked on a voyage spanning slightly over a month destined for a lunar touchdown slated for in august applause and jubilation surged within the mission control confines of the satish dharwan space center where engineers and scientists affiliated with the indian space research organization isro reveled in the launch monitoring meanwhile a multitude of indians congregated outside the mission control center fervently waving the national flag witnessing the soaring trajectory of the spacecraft in the words of s somanath the director of isro congratulations india chandrayaan 3 has started its journey towards moon our dear lvm 3 has already put chandrayaan 3 craft into the precise orbit around earth 170 by 36500 km was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now and let us wish all the best for the chandrayaan 3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days so let me wish all the very best to chandrayaan 3 for its further journey towards moon the successful lunar landing has elevated india's stature as the fourth nation following the united states the soviet union and china to achieve this remarkable feat orbit beyond the blue despite its lifeless demeanor the moon has managed to reach the prominent position of the most sought after real estate within the solar system jokes aside countries across the globe are now driven by an ardent eagerness to showcase their technological feats and contribute to humanity's insights into earth's natural satellite and companion this week was set to bear witness to planned lunar landings by both russia and india the latest installments in the ongoing saga of international robotic spacecraft voyaging to the moon however Russia's first moon landing endeavor in 47 years faltered on Sunday when its Luna 25 spacecraft hurtled uncontrolled into the lunar surface and crashed. All eyes were then set on India's Chandrayaan 3 taking center stage as it inched closer to end its 40-day journey and reach the moon's surface today. As its name suggests, Chandrayaan 3 represents the third lunar mission under the wing of India's ISRO. The mission's objective revolves around deploying a lander and a rover on the lunar terrain, where they are slated to function for roughly one lunar day, equivalent to 14 Earth days. The petite rover, tipping the scales at a mere 26 kilograms, will be nestled within the lander's confines. Both come equipped with scientific instruments tailored for surface exploration. Initiated on July 14 through the launch facilitated by India's LVM3 rocket, the nation's heavy duty lift vehicle, capable of propelling approximately 8 metric tons into low earth orbit, Chandrayaan 3's journey stands in stark contrast to the capabilities of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which boasts the capacity to raise nearly 23 metric tons to the same orbit. Effectively maneuvering The LVM3 orchestrates the ascent of both the spacecraft and an accompanying propulsion module into an elongated earth orbit. 
Boastingham Peak at an altitude of around 36,500 kilometers or 22,700 miles above the Earth's surface. Following several orbit adjustments, the propulsion module transitions into a lunar orbit. As moon landing succeeds, the propulsion module will craftily maneuver Chandrayaan-3 into a circular orbit spanning 100 kilometers or 62 miles. Subsequently, the two entities will part ways, facilitating the descent of the lander to its designated landing site within the moon's southern polar region. The next question on everyone's minds, what will Chandrayaan-3 do on its mission? A bunch of tasks await the lander on the moon. The successful touchdown means hitting a Grand Isro milestone, propelling the organization into a league of nations that have successfully landed spacecrafts on alien extraterrestrial surfaces. Above and beyond this triumph, Chandrayaan-3 unveils an array of technological demonstrations and scientific quests. Now that it has landed, the Chandrayaan-3 lander will enact the unfolding of a side panel, effectively crafting a ramp for the rover's deployment. Navigating down the ramp from the lander's underbelly, the rover will commence its exploration of the lunar expanse. Harnessing solar energy, the lander and rover will collaborate, benefiting from a two-week window to scrutinize their immediate surroundings. However, they are ill-equipped to endure the moon's frigid nights. Notably, the rover maintains communication solely with the lander, which serves as the direct contact to Earth. In a contingency, ISRO underscores the utilization of the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter for auxiliary communication purposes. Jitendra Singh, India's Minister of Space, champions the cause of lunar exploration, complete with goals such as the search for evidence of water on the Moon's surface. This pursuit will simultaneously also undertake the quest for searching for resources to support human life, with a distant goal of eventually establishing a human habitat on the moon's terrain in the future. Minister Singh emphasizes that if Chandrayaan-3 unearths further water evidence, it would be a significant breakthrough. The presence of water molecules renders it a valuable source of energy on the moon. These discoveries will no doubt influence all upcoming space missions, while concurrently ushering in a new era of space entrepreneurship, possibly through nascent startup endeavors. The Moon is the only world besides Earth ever visited by humans. By studying the Moon, scientists can piece together Earth's origin story, and perhaps maybe even find proof of existence of the third kind. Maybe that's just wishful thinking, but nonetheless, there's so much we still don't understand about our natural satellite, which makes this a huge area for research that will benefit space research and future exploration. With the upcoming moon missions, we will get a step closer to knowing our moon a little bit better. But what do I know? Beyond the Blue.